Double sling, a strike. Perfect. Okay, cool. We got I think we got bronze working before, didn't we? So that's two slingers. I think maybe getting a third, and then we'll kind of work from there. Oh, I just lost two units. My my exploring warrior just got killed by three barbs appearing, and my slinger just got killed uh, in one. Ugh. Man. Basically, the game's like, oh, you want to play a fun coupe game, do you? What we're going to do is we're going to give you an amazing start and then barb you to smithereens. How does that sound? It's like, okay, fine, whatever. Oh, no, don't go round. Don't go round. Oh, good. Stay there, you... Ah, We still have God of the Sea. This is the one I want as coupe. Plus one production from fishing boats. Yes. It's just going to happen. Okay, cool. Right, now we have a little bit more production. We're going to just make sure that we're working all of our lovely, lovely fishing boats. Five population. We've got two slingers. I guess that's probably not enough. Let's get a third. And we can go for a triple archer upgrade and that should keep us nice and safe. Luckily, in the time that it took me to get a pantheon, I didn't lose the first religion. We're going to have the fish of barb death. They're going to hit those barbs like anything. Feed the world is going to be an amazing thing for Coupe. The reason being is that Coupe gets so much production from all of the forest tiles. You need as much population as you can to work all of those tiles to the best ability. So that's a really, really good one. Coupe could be used to do some crusading. That's always a good combo for me. I'm just trying to think if there's anything better we could do. We could get teeth. <laughs> teeth to get myself some more gold and get my early game economy going that's not necessarily a bad thing i could go for religious colonization in order to make sure that my religion gets spread around uh, as i go and settle the world that would be pretty good as well i don't know there's, there's a few different things we could be getting right now i think i do like the extra gold at the beginning of the game so we'll do that perfect stuff celestial navigation helps as well just lighthouses will stack on top of all of the glorious bonuses that I've got on my fishing boat so far. Just you wait. Now there's a builder. That's nice. But I now need a galley, I believe, in order to make sure that I can go and defend myself. Although actually, do I? Because I've now got one, two, three archers. Now these things should be able to fight that galley back a little bit. Not hugely, admittedly, but they can a little bit hit it back. You know what, a galley probably is a good idea. Getting that settler though is probably not a bad idea as well. There's a lot of things I need to do. Let's get the settler. I can go and expand a little bit. I've got this builder now that can come and just give myself the plantation to give myself an amenity, which helps me just to get some early game gold because I can immediately trade it away with uh, Gorgo. Or oh, three builder unit. Good thing I just built one. Oh yeah, it's one of those games. However, one luxury and two luxuries. Perfect. That's really cool. Gorgo will buy both of them from me for a lot of gold. That pumps, that just kickstarts my infrastructure at the beginning of the game. Now I've got some archers, so I'm just going to gamble on this trader being able to just like survive for a bit. We'll see if that works out. Well, this is why I love scouts, is that you'll be scouting around merrily and you'll run into some barb horsemen and suddenly like, that's it. You're dead. Free Inquiry is good. Monumentality is better with Coupe. Using my gold to purchase in Settlers really cheaply is a wonderful thing. So I'm going to just spend 220 gold to get a Settler as I'm building this one out. That's not a bad option for me. I'm also going to try and just get rid of some of these galleys quickly. In fact, actually, a Gogi is no longer what I want. I want Maritime Industries. Huzzah! That means now uh, I can build myself the galley that I wanted, which will help me just to defend myself a little bit better, and it'll help me to just get this um, fishing boat back, because I really need that in my capital. Also going to go for the patented Amani start this time. Stick her in Auckland, which will give me suzerainship of the city-state. Nobody else is really bothering with it apart from Gorgo, but that plus one production to all of these ocean tiles I mean, that's all of my fishing boats, and that is just insane for me. So that's what we're going to be doing. I feel like I can't send my settler too far at the moment because the barbs are everywhere. So what I might do is go and settle kind of in the middle of Iberia. That'll give me resources uh, like, like horses that I can get involved with. There's some more luxuries over here. I'm just trying to think of the best places to go. 
double past you. If I was to pop over in that direction. Hmm. Looks like Greece is settling into France. I really want to go and settle into somewhere like France, but unfortunately it's just too far away at the moment. That's the problem. Unless I just send my settler wildly. The, the barbs are crazy and I don't really have an army at the moment, so we just need to be a little bit careful. Just a touch careful. I can go and settle over down here, actually. Maybe on top of that citrus. Uh, there's not much forest down here, but at least it gives me the Gibraltar passage, which is quite a nice piece of uh, infrastructure to hold on to. So maybe that'll be cool. Seeing that the main thing I really need to be going for is fishing boats. If I can get fishing boats going, that's going to really help me faster than anything else. Because between Auckland and the Maori powers and, and all that stuff, it's really where my advantage is going to lie. So there is some fish down there, but maybe I should wait until I can get onto Africa so to go and use this fish as well. There's a triple fish sort of stuck over here and some citrus. It's not, um, yeah, you know what? Sod it. We're going to go over to here. I think that's probably going to be the best option for me. Go, go, gadget, Auckland. Go on, do it for me. Oh, look, they just killed, they immediately killed my galley. Come on now. Don't be like that. And they've stolen my worker. Oh, oh my God, the barbs on this map. I had like an almost full health galley sat there. Never mind. Never mind. It's okay. It's okay. We'll make do. Oh yeah, look at that. All oh, the fish down there. So one, two, three, four fish tiles within range of this little desert city, which is making good of what is a rubbish tile. And I can also start culture bombing as well by going bam, like that. Therefore, I mean, that's going to be a lovely city very quickly. This scout is just, I mean, barbs are mad. I, mean, I think it's just because the map is so big. There we go. We killed that horse to get out, but I'm now being chased by a slinger. Oh no. So Auckland has given me the extra production, so now my fishing boats are giving me two food and two production. They're really, really, really good. I just need to make sure that I actually have all of them uh, worked, which is the problem right now. Um, this one is still burning. Again, I don't entirely know how the fishing boats burn, but they do. The game is showing me burning, burning things at sea. Lovely. It's cool. Hello. Nice to meet you. Wonderful stuff. Can I purchase your favor? Yes. Everyone wants to sell me their favor. There's my builder. I'll be taking that back. Thank you. Hungry. Hello. Where are you? Where are you living? You are, oh, over in where the Netherlands should be. Okay. Well, we've got to keep an eye on them because we don't want them stealing, stealing anything from us. I can buy some snuffly truffles from them though. Excellent stuff. And they are still selling me all of their favour, of which Gorgo has now decided to buy. She can't buy much of it though. She's pretty skint, but we can offer her a lot of it. There we go. Fund me. Fund me, Gorgo. Uh, and whilst actually I wait for this extra fishing boat to go through, I'm just going to get a settler here so that I can expand into the Mediterranean. Look at that. It's always good to buy settlers from two population cities because it really, really quickly goes back to one population, given on how the growth works in this game. Now, here is the archer. Oh, it can't quite make the attack. Nope, so it's just going to have to wait here a second. Um, oh, and look, all the barbs have they've decided to come from the other direction now. This is great. So it looks like Gaul is north of Turkey and kind of where I think is this sort of like Armenia, Georgia sort of area. I'm sorry if it's not. It's very difficult when you're looking at a map and there's so much for, uh, fog of war. Very tricky to orientate yourself. I am aware though that it's uh, turn 64 and I've only got five science and two culture. I really need to get some infrastructure down. I'm building a harbour, but that's about it at the moment. Um, yeah, not, not ideal, but that's okay. Barb camp driven away. They literally just spawned a... Uh, one of these annoying quadream sort of type boats, but you know, we'll we'll just have to deal with that. I think I'm gonna have to trap it in and heal this person quickly. Oh, why are the barbs here? Come on, get lost. They're just pillaging all of my plantations. Extra governor, finally. Let's get Pingala in my capital. This is desperately needed to try and get some some resources. Honestly. Nuts. Vietnam. They appear to be right over on the east of the map. Yeah, all the way up here. Very similar to another game I played. They seem to get a very similar start on this map. Good Germany. Day. Hello. They appear to be over here as well. That's, I, I need access to your empire, please. I need to prove that the world is not round. Just sort of flat. 
So my third settler, I've taken all the way into the Mediterranean, past Italy, past Greece, and onto these on this little Greek island, because look how many fish are around it. This is going to be a fantastic little base for me. Tasty. Still making most of my money by selling other people's diplomatic favour to the Gauls, but that's quite decent, really. Anyone got any luxuries for me? Nah. Not at the moment. Never mind. Never mind. But we've got a nice builder there. That's good. I think I might just pick up another settler from my capital quickly. Like so. Tisploosh. And I think we're going to go and settle something. Now, annoyingly, I was going to go and settle sort of northern France because of all of this over here. But I think Britain might be a good location as well. Saivia. Nice to meet you too. Whereabouts are you? Oh, we haven't actually figured that out yet. We just sort of met them. It's this amazing little city. Look at it. It's just a one population city on an island with only three housing and suddenly, bam, it begins to become a thing. All oh, the yields are really struggling for whatever reason. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, oh look, look, it's because it's for whatever reason, it's providing one food and one gold yield towel, even though I haven't actually turned it on. I don't know why that's happening. I found a little, <laughs> the first vertical line of the map. I like the idea that it's not even trying to prove that it's round. It's just like, well done. You found a vertical line. Check out these lighthouse tiles, though. That is a five food, two production, one gold fish. The crabs are just as good. Normally crabs are useless, but four food crabs? Oh. It's no wonder these horrendously giant crabs are scuttling around. We finally learned how to hunt and kill them. It took, it took a while, but once we twigged it, there was no going back. Finally killed that barb encampment. Blimey, that took a while, but my hutches did the good job eventually. I say eventually because, my god, it took a while, but hey, I'll take it. First job, connoisseur. Lovely. It'll give me a bunch more culture. What's my population? Six at the moment. Hey, that's not bad. To 13. Good, I can get my first government really quickly. I know it's settling right by Hungary and it's not quite on the UK, but there are so many fish around this area and it's by the cliffs of Dover. I just can't help but settle right there. That was a really good settlement for me. And in fact, I can actually start getting some traders going with Hungary and with Greece. And yeah, I'm just sort of annoying everybody by being there. And that's what Ursa Ryan does best. It's just constant infuriation. Immediately, let's get in Classical Republic. We like that. Right, urban planning is okay. Builders is better. And settlers is even better than that. First envoy counts are too good. Wonderful stuff. Right, we can really get our infrastructure building up now. I'm sending this settler. I built another settler on my little Greek city. And I'm going to go and settle into what I believe is the beginnings of the Middle East. Because, like, Turkey's sort of here. And it comes down. Yeah, sure. That sounds about right. I think that citrus would be a good tower because it's got lovely little fishies next to that. And I love these culture bombs. I've never told you how much I love the culture bombs. I really like the culture bombs. I think that's Iceland up here. Yay, we finally found it. Awesome stuff. Am I going to go and settle that? Yes. Absolutely, I'm going to. Oh, got to be careful. I have to be careful. That slinger was there, which meant if I'd settled immediately, I would have absolutely been stolen. Okay. Iceland is absolutely inhabited by hundreds of people. We're going to just abandon it and come back another day. <laughs> it looks horrendous. Oh, well, at least we now have this city. Aha, it's my first settlement on Asia. We've got five turns to make three era score. I think that's possible. Band. Ottomans, that is very useful because they are the last people in the oh, game, which means I've met everybody first and I get three era score. Uh, actually, you know, somebody did it before me. That's kind of worrying. Maybe one of these Central European civs. I guess they're kind of closer to everybody else. Yeah, well, there we go. Era, we've got a golden era. Next time around this settler, I've just managed to pop one out of this new city. The thing about the Maori, which I love, is that you get such a huge boost to growth at the beginning of the game. As long as you settle near uh, any form of like sea resource, you get yourself to two pop, you buy a settler immediately and you can sort of spread out from there. Like I've already got two beautiful cities down here. I've got a city there. I've got a city, two cities here. Like I'm really spreading around the map and I can sort of expand out later as I get more production. And I will get lots more production with Auckland once I hit the industrial era. So that'll take some time to do. But once we get there, oh, we won't look back. So far though, 
so good. I really need to improve my religion though. That is something I need to do because I can't be bothered to keep spreading the fish of barb death across the map. <laughs> I'm taking on everybody else's uh, religions at the moment and it's a little bit annoying, but uh, never mind. Theology. Okay, well, there we go. That means we're now into a golden age. We did it. Perfect. Yeah, this is a funny old start, but I think that the population and Auckland's production is going to start spreading to these cities and they are going to be workhorses before you know it. Watch the trade routes jump up. Uh, I think I've got some good gold routes. Yeah, I'm going to start appearing. Nice six gold routes. Tasty. <laughs> this game's going to be fun. You just sense it. It's going to be brilliant fun. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trevor Daskby, Paul Coffey, Senjit, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard and Portland for all of your support on Patreon, as well as everybody else who comments and likes. Thank you!